Hello friends, welcome to the Sea Man. Today I'm gonna bring you how container ships do cargo operations. So guys, without any further delay let's roll with video. Past two weeks we were at Anchorage without cargo, and now we heading to Port Algeciras Spain for loading. It's midnight here, I'm ready to my cargo watch midnight to morning 6, so I placed my phone on bridge to record this time-lapse cargo operation. At the moment 6 gantries work for us, but you can see only 4 here because other 2 gantries loading behind the accommodation. We have to load 1560 boxes. Their plan is to finish this operation within 10 hours, so guys our departure schedule to morning 10. Nowadays one gantry could move 30 to 50 boxes per hour, it can go up to 50 to 80 per hours with double spreader gantries, mostly in China ports and Dubai use this method. What you can see here is cargo hold, during the cargo operation there is one foreman for one gantry, he will monitoring loading and discharging according to cargo plan but time to time we have to check the process also. Especially during opening and closing hatch covers, it's the time that could happens most damage to ship, also before closing hatch covers need to check whether they load according to plan or not. Not only that also need to check if they damage our shell guide during loading. As per the plan loading this bay 34 under deck is almost complete. Now you can see they going to close the hatch covers of bay 34, and here comes the center hatch cover, it's little bit smaller than other two, but it weigh 31.2 tons. Now they going to close as port hatch cover, which is weights around 35 tons. And last starboard side hatch cover, which is weight 35 tons same as port side. After closing hatch covers we should go around and secure the hatch pins, and the same time need to check whether hatch cover closes without any obstructions stuck under the cover. Most common matter is lashing bars or turn buckles stuck under the hatch covers. If it is so we have to re-open the hatch cover and remove it. Because hatch covers are should be weather tight, if something stuck below water can be leaks to the cargo hold. You can see now they start loading on deck of some bays, here on bay 34 they have loaded two reefer containers, so we have to plug it and check whether those are in order or not. If it is not working in correct temperature range we should inform shore reefer technician immediately, so they could fix it with time without delaying our departure. Here you can see the lashing team doing container lashing as soon as possible for them. On this two reefer container you can see the single lashing because it's only first tier. If we loaded two tiers or more it should be double lashing. Each and every ship have their own lashing plans, so lashing team has to follow ship's lashing plan and do it so. Lashing on sea sides will add two more lashing bars which is called diagonal and vertical bars for more secure, because if heavy weather sea side containers have higher risk to fall overboard. So guys it's almost finished my watch, after another 4 hours we supposed to departure. 
there are a lot more to talk about cargo operations. Later I will bring video of down view opening hatch cover. Hope you guys enjoy and have basic idea about cargo operation of container ships. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Give blessings to the seafarers.